Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Country Crusade for the seventh season here, where we're going to be aiming to get into the Champions League this season. <clears throat> Excuse me. The last year we finished in fifth, well losing to the one last of the year, so hopefully this year we can push on and try and get that full spot. So let's get into the, probably the biggest bit, which is the transfers. So starting off with the outs, we've not really had any major go. We've had Boss go out to Leicester, but due to that injury, he never really played last year. And with the players we brought in, I think we've um, adequately, adequately replaced him. Um, Williams I brought in here, but went straight out on loan to Swansea. Hopefully, he can get a good full season football down there. Wren's gone out on loan. Cook's left a couple of threes. Then a couple. Um, Dunn's gone. A couple of smaller thieves, nothing really major. Low and out for 2.3. Then the rest are mainly loans, really. So going out, there wasn't the only sort of major one was um, um, Boss going. So he's gone, but we're going to go through the players who have come in and going to be hopefully covering for him. Firstly, you know Ash Ashley Willis, who looks pretty decent. Send back young, 19 English. Going to be in the team next year probably. So definitely gonna happy to have him in. Then we've got Jose Alves, a right winger, looks exceptional, very quick. He's gone straight up, he's up alone, because I don't really use a right winger. Unless I can train to be a right wing back or something. Which actually is something I might do. I was training him as a centre mid, but a right wing back actually seems like a better idea. His tackling go up, his marking that, but he's got all the physicals to do it. So we'll see how we can get on doing that. Uh, next off is Thiago Castro. Striker, he's actually going out on loan because I've made some adjustments to the team. Very good. We've got him in on three. He's at three million already. We can get a good season out uh, wherever he's going. Where's he going? One of those two. <laughs> if you can get a good season out in France, lovely. Then we've got Daniel Thomas, again at number three. Exceptional looking young goalkeeper. He's classed as a wonder kid. He looks amazing. He's going to be our number one this year. He's valued at 12.5 million and we paid nothing for him. That's what I absolutely love about free transfers, getting them in, getting them in for nothing. His passing is a little bit shocking though, but I'm hoping he's not going to have to use his feet, so that's not going to be a problem. But again, looks like an exceptional young player and going to be our main goalkeeper this season. Then we've got Mesquita, a left winger who looks pretty good. Got him in. He's gone straight on loan to Bristol. We'll see how he does there. Hopefully, do quite good. We've got Hurin Gaspar, a right back. Looks pretty decent. Going to hopefully improve. And he's out on loan at Salzburg because he couldn't get a work permit. That's why he's gone straight out. So. He's going out. Then we've got Park Ho, another striker. He hasn't got a work permit on him. He's on straight out of Racing Santander. Or Death Santander. Whatever. So, if he can get a good season there, have you get a work permit? South Korean probably won't get a work permit, but in Vince Salomon, even better. Then, the two players we've actually spent quite a bit of money on, both coming in from Spain, and both coming from two of the biggest teams in Spain. First one being Manuel Ajizas. Looks like he's a decent little striker. 19, Spanish. Looks pretty good. He wanted to join us. Boston didn't want to sell, but he had a release fee of like 4 million. I was like, right, we'll hit that and bring him in. There's a right. Very good. Very happy with him. But hopefully he can have a good year with us. He can be a backup to our current strikers. Then we got Eugenio Wigger, the Swiss international centre back. He looks pretty and decent to be honest um, physically good mentally can definitely improve he's only 18 he's definitely going to go get better and technically he's going to improve as well but yeah 11 and a half million was his release fee but definitely going to hit it especially after that season with the Castilla team 23 games 1 goal 4 assists 8.1 an 8.1 average rating over 23 games is mad ok I've just noticed there on um, 22 subs in that but even coming on a sub to get that rating is pretty decent so it's like right he's coming in 
which brings us on to the tactic we're going to be using which is predominantly going to be the 3232 formation which looks like um, this is sort of a basic one I tried using with AC Milan which I've got a series if you haven't seen it go and watch it it's in the playlist somewhere on my channel I might even link it in the description below but this is what the basic one I was using but I had a cam instead of a third centre mid so effectively it's just sort of dropped him back and kept all the actually just sort of this is a basic one I know that does work whether it works on the update is another story but hopefully we can add and adjust things and sort of get it rocking and rolling so let's jump into the first game of the day or the end game of the day which is going no actually stuff it we're going to do a double header at the start of the season uh, against Norwich and Liverpool so let's get straight into the game against Norwich which is now <laughs> they're playing with exactly the same formation we are so it's going to be interesting to see what we can do right Messias, Stokes, Faria, Britain Cup, Kovic, Plus, Navarro, Wigger, Rekic and Camel Tornadoes now injured with a I don't know what he had but he injured himself oh yeah the only other major change is Al Hassan Al Said has come up into our first team he was in our if I remember the end of last season I said I couldn't get him a work permit after a new contract I gave him a work permit so therefore he's in our first team and yeah I think that's about it really in terms of what's going on with the team and yeah so let's get into this and see how we get on on the first day of the season he's gonna number 11 yeah let's get going they're going with their same formation Galloway, Susta, whatever his name is, Miranda the silver something, Ajay something, Soberon and Afobi with Rod and Goal so very strong team let's see how we can get on against them Trying out the new formation, see what they can do. Hopefully, it can give us a good result. I'll probably have to adjust different roles in that due to personnel and that sort of thing, but I'll get to that as we go. First highlight 17 minutes in, we're coming forward. Navarro's on the right into Faria. All the way over the top for class, lovely brawl. Got two men in the in, 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 middle, but it's dropped Kovic, edge of the box shot. What a strike! What a way to start the season. Lovely strike by Kovic there on his strong left foot. Top corner by the look of it. That's one hell of a strike from him. And Farrier's got a bruised rib. We'll come to that after. Yeah, class, lovely ball. He whips it in. It's headed clear. Kovic, one touch sets and south. Next touch in, in off the post. We'll have to take Farry off with the bruise rib. We'll see how he gets on. You can't breathe. You can't really run, can you? We've got a throw in high up the field. Stokes has dropped deep. Klaus whips in. No one's at the back post. It's going to drop to Britain Cup, though. Navarro. Around corner for Lemessia. Oh, he's hit the post. I'm probably going to sort the rolls around so it's the same as the other tactics. So the complete void's on the left. But we'll get to that in a minute. So they've got a corner, whips it in, Galloway, and they've scored from a corner. I hate those. Especially when we've been the better team and I feel we don't deserve to be at 1-1. Whips the corner in, headed on near post, and then Silver whips it out to Miranda. Can we get on him? Whips it in front of him, and they give away a penalty. This is not the start of the season I wanted to see. Can we save it? Oh, it gets close. But they've gone 2-1 up where I don't believe they deserve it. Don't really need to see a penalty replay, do we? Right, we got the ball. We don't know what was going on there. Why are we shooting from stupid angles? Yeah. 
Well, that really didn't go, so we'll give him one hell of a bollock in. Because I didn't feel we deserved to lose that, so. Let's go into. I'll adjust the tactic up, change a few little things, and then I'll see you on the next game against Liverpool, guys. Right, guys, let's get into the second game and see how we do against Liverpool now. I've adapted the tactics slightly, so let's see what can happen. We're going with the same formation, more or less, or same team. So let's see if they can have a good result and try and do better than the first game. Right, let's get going and see what they can do. Ah, good tackle there, Navarro Stokes. Probably nothing going to come from this. Nope. Class whips the ball in. Matic claims it though. Farrier's not going to get there. does get there. Stokes is in behind and saved by their goalie. And they clear it into my player. That should have been a goal. We should have been 1 0 up there. Coming forward, give it to Stokes, into Kovic, Le Messi, around the corner for Clues, in the middle for Stokes, and he scored and made it 1-0. That's our first goal for the um, season. No, second goal for the season, I forgot Kovic scored in the first game. Lovely piece of play that was, lovely movement. Stokes, Kovic, Le Messi, around the corner, Klaus is free, first time cross, in the middle, Stokes tap into the middle of the goal. Lovely finish. They plan the ball forward. Lovely passing, Mane, but over the top looking for Woodburn, but it's cleared a couple of times. They whip it in again. Woodburn is somehow onside, but it's just one of those long balls into the box, and it just happens to be he's got a player back with him, and he scores from it. But the first time ball, and just don't read it. And we're back to 1 0. Bonilla whips it in. It's cleared. Britain cut edge of the box. Kovic. Klaus whips it into the middle. The Messier scores this time, making it 2 1. Lovely goal. And that should have been a third goal if the Messier could have scored the header earlier on. But lovely play. Klaus, lovely ball in. And the Messier slots it in the back there. Lovely finish. We've got another throw. We've got a few seconds left. Whips it in. Stokes has it. And we get a corner. That should be the last play of the game, really. And it is. We take the win 2 1, which was very, very close. If we had done that last season, we'd be in the Champions League now. But it's a win with three points on the board. Not the best start to the season that we wanted, but it's a start. Right. And what a way to start the season. A loss and a win. Right, so I'm going to jump to the group stage draw and we'll do that while we're here as well. So I'll see you in just a moment, guys. Right, we're back into the draw now. So let's have a quick look. Where are we? We're second seed. So let's get into the automatic draw and see where we can get going. Um, no idea who the first seeds are. We're really going to want to hit. Probably Olympiakos. Um, Basil. Lab back. Where else? Maybe Dino Kiev from the back chain would be decent. Don't really want Dortmund. I don't want Roma. So this is where it's going to come. Where we're going to miss. Don't really want Ajax. Basil, take Basil. No. Nope. Napoli, not overly. Lab back, take them. No. Nope. Moscow, yeah. Bordeaux. We get Bordeaux again. We played them in the what? I can't remember which round it was. Um, I'm not there, so right, who are we gonna get? Anyone but Valencia will probably be pretty decent, or PSV Eindhoven. Let's right, Valencia. Stop the draw quickly. We can get Sagra Sagrabad, Leeds, Warsaw, Ghent. Rapid Vine, Ein, anyone but Einhoven. Really? Legia? Le yeah, that's okay. They're coming forward again. 
do do. Come on, TikTok. <laughs> right, who are we gonna get as our fourth team? I have no idea. Probably, well, we can't get Watford. Stop. Who are you? Can we get? Don't even know who they are. Midland. Don't really want them. Augsburg, maybe. Aravine. That one, maybe because I don't know them. And it's just a team I don't know. Okay, right. Stop. They'll just draw the rest of the teams. I'm not fussed about who gets what. But that's gonna be an interesting group. Dortmund, Liege, and Zora. Zora. Ukraine team. They came third last season behind Kiev and Shakhtar. Right, okay. So, guys, if you've enjoyed, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next episode for some Europa League stuff. I just don't know when because it's not decided to put them in yet. So, I'll see you then, guys.